So today I'm going to talk about how to download and use Python, the first five minutes. If you want to see additional lessons, they'll be upcoming. Okay, so go to python.org if you're interested in downloading Python. And uh, then come to the download section here in the middle of the page. And usually this detects which operating system you're using. So I'm using Mac OS X, so it will just download Python. And then you follow the download instructions here. Sometimes you may need to download an older version, or one for Windows, or for another operating system. Now, let's talk about the first few minutes worth of Python. So, uh, did you know you can use Python as a calculator? So for instance, three, three plus five equals eight. Eight plus 10 equals 18. I'm pushing enter or return on the keyboard at, at the end of the line. But what about subtracting? Five minus two. Wonderful. What about five minus 11? Negative six. Okay, can it do multiplication? Three star five. So three star five, when you use a star, that stands for time. You get 15. Great. How about division? 20 divided by five. Four. Great. How about six divided by three? Perfect. Can it, can it give us uh, five divided by four? Yes, 1.25. So you see it's a full, simple calculator. What if you want to see um, to the power of something? So let's say two to the third power. You do two star star three and you get eight. Can it do bigger powers? Yes. Two to the tenth power, for instance, is 1,024. And you see it, it arrives at the answer very quickly. Okay, so uh, what else can we do with this? Well, how about uh, perhaps the cosine of zero, which should be oh, zero. Make sure you type zero and not O, otherwise it won't work. Which should be, it's an error. What do we do? Well, Python comes with a whole bunch of libraries. So what you do is you type in from math import star. And now, if you try uh, cosine of zero again, it comes up with the right answer, which is one. Because there's these libraries that don't load at the beginning to help speed up Python, but you can always uh, do from math import star, which means import the entire library of math, and now you can do other additional functions, like sine of zero, for instance. You get zero. Okay, so now what do we do? Uh, what else can we do? Can we add words with numbers? Oh, let's see. So let's say I type A plus five. It says error. Okay, what if I wanted to do something called concatenation, which is when you put two words together, like hot and dog, and you get hot dog. So let's say hot equals hot and dog equals dog. Now you notice I'm putting things in quotes. Uh, that's basically how you tell Python what's a word. So I, or, or you can contain things in other ways. So you can make container equal to five. And you can put, so let's say you uh, type container again, you get five. Okay. Likewise, if we type dog now, we get dog. And you can use any set of letters, like x1 equals 
10. So now, uh, if we type x1 again, you see there's a 10 stored in it. So x1 plus container should be 15. And we see that that's true. So now can we do hot plus dog? The answer is yes, because that's called concatenation. And Python knows that you can put two strings together into a concatenation form, hot dog. What about, uh, can we add, like I asked originally, can we add a string and an integer together? And the question, so let's see if we can do that. Let's type in container plus hot. And the answer is you can't because there's this error, type error, unsupported operand type s for plus int and string. However, we might be able to get around this by converting the type. If we, Python says that you always have to work with the same type. And one thing you can do is convert one type to another type. But what I mean by type is, let's just type in the word type and then type the word hot. We see that Python identifies it as a string. And likewise, if we type the word type and uh, use the word container, we see because we stored a number in it, it identifies it as an integer. And we, I, we stored five inside of container. So now if we want to combine in a concatenation format, hut and container, what we need to do is we need to convert what's inside the container into a string. So we do that by typing string, open parentheses, container, close parentheses, plus and now, you see, we've got five hot. It's concatenated the two. Now there are other types, and I will not be covering all the types in this particular uh, talk right now, but if you convert a dog, for instance, you can use list, open parentheses dog, and push enter, and you get a different type. And you can even store that. Let's say C equals list, Dog. Now you have C inside of C. You have this additional type, which is a list. You see it's separated by commas, and each item is some made up of a string format. So it's a new type of uh, type. And for instance, if we type the word type and then C, you see that it is in fact a new type of type. So uh, what else can we do? Well, let's say we take uh, some letters, like the ones that are used in DNA. DNA equals, and we can use uh, double quotes or single quotes, they mean the same thing, or even triple quotes. But for right now, we'll just use double quotes. And let's take some letters, A, T, C, G, G, A, A, G, G, A, T, T, a, A, C, C, G, G, ta, 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 ta. And then, uh, now let's say we want to find the location of uh, a particular letter in that string that we just put. So you can type DNA, open square brackets, the number two, and then close square brackets. And this gives us the letter C. Now in Python, uh, the numbers start at 0, 1, 2. So if we were to do DNA 0, we'll get A. And if we were likewise to do DNA 1, we'll get B. And there's a couple of ways to get the, the letter at the end. One way is we could use the word the, the function in Python called list, the command list, and then put in DNA. Oh, not list, sorry. Uh, length, L-E-N for length. And type in DNA. 
close parentheses, and you see it says 34. So if we do, oh, well it actually starts at zero, so we have to do DNA Thirty-three. There we are, and we get the A that we were after. So you see, you need to do some thinking and, and uh, playing with things to, to make it work. Now let's say we want a range of letters. You type DNA, and then you can type zero colon three, and you see you get ATC. And uh, we can do DNA, zero colon. Now zero colon is special, it gives you the entire list of characters, the entire string. So also we can do uh, ranges in between. We can do three colon 10, and you'll see we get somewhere in between. And we can even do, if we didn't know how to get the last number because we didn't know the length command, len, we could do DNA uh, and no, negative one. And that gives us the last letter. Likewise, if we do DNA negative two, because it's counting from the other direction, we get T. And now, if we wanted to use negative numbers in a range, we have to think of the number line. So negative 10 is smaller than negative 1. So as a result, just like you would write on the number line, that's the way you would write it here, and you get your ta-ta-ta sequence. And finally, let's say you didn't like having that, set of, that sequence inside the DNA. You could erase it by putting in a, a new string of letters, such as some words. This. And now, DNA has exactly that. But let's say you needed to get rid of it altogether. You could type DEL DNA and then Type DNA, and as you can see, you deleted what was inside of DNA. This concludes my first five minute lesson of Python. This concludes my first Python lesson. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe so you find out when I will be posting my next lesson. Okay. Thank you for watching.